Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, the UPS. Um, go ahead and test it for its end-use environment where the customer is going to have 240 volts input and it's going to want 120 240 split phase output. So I have set my variable output transformer to 240 which then feeds my temporary wire for programming this UPS. All right, so that goes on to the input side. This UPS is a five-tier protection UPS. It's double conversion. It's got backup battery power. It's got surge suppression. It's got voltage regulation, big capacitor banks. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the front, and I'm going to match. It says 240 volts input. I'm going to go ahead and get my test equipment and my protection equipment. Make sure that I get my insulated gloves on. Okay. And so first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure my input and just make sure that it is 240. So in this case, I have a black wire and a white wire, but those are really black and red. Uh, so that's gonna be my two hots going input. If we look at the wiring diagram, we can see G1, N1, L12. That's how I have this program. So between hot one and hot two, I should be getting 240. So here I show 238, so that's about right. And then I'm gonna test my output. My output is here, I've added a jumper between L22 and N21, which brings the two legs of 120 together, giving me the 122-40 split phase. So I'm gonna have two legs of 120 still, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the first leg of the 120. So I'll measure these two here between first hot and neutral. So I got 119.4. I'm going to measure between neutral and the second hot. It's so right here. It's my second leg 120. So I got 120. And then between the two hots, I'm going to get 240. And there we go, 238.8. So what I did is when I added a jumper between L22 and N21, that essentially brings these these two legs together and allows me to get the 120-240 split phase. If I took this jumper out, I, I would be able to parallel these two 120 together and just get the full capacity of the UPS uh, output at 120. In this case, I can only get, since this is a 9,000 watt output UPS, I can only get 4,500 watts output per 120 leg or 9,000 watts on the legs combined to 240. Um, that's it for this test. It's going to be closed up and sent to the customer, ready to go. So the electrician just has to wire it up with the 240 in and his split phase 120-240 out to his panel, and he should be good to go.